Well, hi there. <laughs> well, hi there. Hi there, boys and girls. <laughs> can I can I have a Beastie Boy uh, lead in? Yeah. Jason, check check you. check check it out. What what what's it all about? Check 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 it out. It's yeah. it's Q and A time, you know. I'm Floyd Norman. I consider myself a cartoonist and very proud of it. Uh, I, I entertain children and adults. I hopefully make children laugh and I make adults smile. At least that's what I try to do. I think I've been a cartoonist all my life. I really do. Uh, my mommy took me to see Dumbo when I was a little boy, around five or six. I looked at the magic drawings up on the screen and I said, that's what I want to do when I grow up. As a child, I was always drawing pictures, funny drawings, uh, would draw in the in my grandparents' uh, books and magazines. Uh, and then I was even drawing on the walls of, of, of my home. Uh, I was a naughty child. But I, I couldn't stop drawing. I was always drawing pictures. Now, I was lucky because I grew up in Santa Barbara, California. So when I decided I wanted to work for Walt Disney, I only had a short 90-mile drive. In college, I was always in the very back of the lecture hall. And now, all of a sudden, I find myself in the front of the lecture hall, wondering, what the heck am I doing here? But then I realize I've lived a lifetime. Uh, I've seen a lot of things, I've learned a lot of things. And so I try to pass on what I've learned to students. I consider it uh, an obligation, but it's something I enjoy doing. The key thing I try to pass on to students is to follow their dreams. You know, if you're passionate about something, then do it. If you believe in something, then go for it. Now, of course, it's hard work, you know. Uh, your goal is never easily achieved. You have to struggle a bit, but you have to first believe in it. Because if you don't believe in that dream, how are you going to realize that dream? I began my career with Disney in February 1956. The ultimate boss, Walt Disney, never took himself that seriously, really. Walt Disney uh, ruled over a huge enterprise. He was, you know, kind of like the god of animation, you know. Uh, he, he, he's still regarded as a, uh, as an iconic figure in our business, you know. Think of, think of Walt Disney. And yet Walt Disney was such an ordinary kind of guy, uh, a Midwesterner, a farm boy, who went to Hollywood and, and totally changed our business. And Walt, the thing so, that was so amazing about Walt Disney was he was an extraordinary person, but it was very ordinary, very down to earth. And I think that's why he's so successful because he identified with the common man and the common man identified with him. The most memorable animated film is one that I can't for the life of me understand why it's so well regarded, but kids come to me and say, I saw that film when I was a child and it made me want to get into the cartoon business. And that film was The Jungle Book, a film I had the pleasure of working on back in 1966 with Walt Disney. It was Walt Disney's last film. Walt Disney was dying and we didn't know it but he came to work every day with the same enthusiasm, the same passion, and the same drive. Well, that film, The Jungle Book, is still being enjoyed today. How many years later, over 50 years later, people are still enjoying The Jungle Book? Well, well we faced many challenges when we were uh, young men uh, launching our business back in 1965 or so. We had to be creators and we had to be businessmen as well. Uh, but, but none of us had been to business school. So we had to learn on the job. We had to make mistakes. We had to fall on our face. We had to make, you know, bad deals, you know, <laughs> and yet somehow we survived it all. So I think what's great about it is the fact that we learn. Uh, it was a challenge, but we learned. And so if you are an artist, remember that's only part of it. You've got to know business as well. That's what I do. <laughs>